Hey everyone, it's Tyler and it's been a while, but I'm back again with another photo talk. You may remember my previous video on the X100F and I thought I'd give it a little bit more attention this time around. Leonardo da Vinci said it best, the best camera you have is the one you have on you. And this one did the trick. What can I say? I love these photos, and the fog gives a painterly quality to them, especially in those soft street lights. And it was my goal to really push a cyberpunk look to these in the Lightroom edits. Here's one of the first few shots I took. It's got some nice halos, and I tried incorporating all the aspects of these overpasses, especially their gigantic scale. There's even a little color shifting going on in the background. But this view didn't really satisfy what I was looking for. Now that's more like it. Those soft lights appearing under the dark sky really paint this whole scene. It's obvious that that light streak adds to that cyberpunk feel that I'm going for, but also it gives the photo some speed. And I love the split of the overpasses pushing to the edges of the frame. Unlike the previous photo, this one has some stillness to it. What I like most about this photo is the street lights and my exposure and how they give just enough light to show off that overpass. But also, the contrast of the sharpness of the overpass and the softness of those street lights. So I definitely cheated on the cropping with this one. But that cropping helps to emphasize the movement going on in this photo, thanks to the distinct curve of the ramp above and the speeding car below. And now it's time for my favorite shot. And truth be told, it was all by accident. After taking a couple shots, I decided to move to a new vantage point. When I saw this on my viewfinder, I found the shot. I never even considered shooting from this angle. There's a lot to like about this photo, like that color shift from the blues on the left to the reds on the right, and how those lights just fall off into the distance and curve along with that overpass. I gotta admit, Bob Ross was right. There are happy little accidents. So, what were the benefits of shooting with the X100F? First off, it's what I had on me. Secondly, this is a compact camera that's easy to use with the Joby Gorillapod. The X100F's wide but not too wide of a lens offered me some versatility in the compositions I was able to do. One thing I wish the X100F did have was a tilty flippy screen. Now I was going around with the Joby Gorillapod trying to get these really low angle shots to show off the scale of these massive overpasses and well, it's hard to compose a shot when you can't see the screen. Luckily, Fuji updated their iOS app which helped me set up and take these shots. I think what surprised me the most about the X100F is how it captured that sharpness of the architecture and contrasted it with how soft those lights were in the fog. So I have to admit, I've taken a lot of photos with this camera, and these are right there at the top of my favorites. Thanks for watching. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Tyler, and I'm off to take some more photos. See you next time.